It's great to give your gaming character a different look, but most of the time it just ends with that. In this video, we're looking at alternative costumes that influence gameplay. But that doesn't mean armor sets with fire resistance in role-playing games. The outfits in this video change the way the game plays or looks. Get ready for 8 amazing alternative costumes that change the game. Hunnigan, what happened? The transmission got cut off. <laughs> Salazar, how'd you... Resident Evil 4 is already one of the best games ever made. This survival horror game also had some amazing unlockables. If you finished the Separate Ways storyline in the PS2 or Wii version of the game, you would unlock an amazing outfit. Dressed like an Italian mobster, Leon Kennedy carries a Tommy gun with unlimited ammo. You already finished the game, so your second playthrough can be a bit more ridiculous. It will get even more ridiculous because Ashley is wearing Knight's armor. This makes her immune to enemy damage, which makes escort missions so much easier. So you have an invulnerable girl wearing Knight's armor and a mobster with infinite ammo. To top it off, the reload animation for Leon in his mobster outfit is simply amazing. <laughs> We've featured the chicken hat from Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain before in one of our other videos. The reason we are once again talking about this embarrassing unlockable hat is because it changes the gameplay. Die too often on a mission and Snake will get to wear this hat. Even though you look like a chicken, the hat actually provides you more camouflage. It will take enemies longer to spot you, which is kind of funny as well because you're a grown man sneaking through a level with a chicken hat on your head. You have arrived at your destination. Hands up. If this proves to be too difficult for you, you'll probably unlock the little chicken hat. This version of the same hat makes you almost invisible to the poor guards, who are basically blinded in order to deal with your incompetence. How humiliating. Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D will always be a black sheep in the franchise. The game's very thin on its content because it's basically horde mode. You need to kill as many zombies within a time limit. But the game for Nintendo 3DS does have some interesting unlockable costumes. Each of the characters in this game has an EX costume. This will not only change the looks, but also the damage and healing of characters. Chris, Jill and Rebecca get more healing from herbs, while Veska and Hank receive less. But those who get less healing will also take less damage. Your outfit choice can determine the way you need to play the game. We still love the classic Jill Valentine outfit, to be honest. It's a pity the rest of the Mercenaries 3D is so mediocre. The Third Birthday is one of those underappreciated games released for the PSP. In this action role-playing game, outfits play an important role. Aya's outfit will tear when she takes too much damage. You can imagine the marketing campaign behind this game. However, it's also interesting to know that the outfit Aya wears determines the damage she receives. There are multiple suits to unlock, each with their own stats. Even though there are some cool ones and some sexy ones, we'd like to emphasize the knight armor. Aya looks extremely tough in her plate armor outfit. Of course, she takes considerably less damage in this outfit, but you first need to unlock it by defeating the game on deadly difficulty. Which kind of reminds us, Square Enix would love to see another Parasite Eve game in the next few years.
Dante in Devil May Cry is all about his stylish looks. He's the gothic tough guy famous for his white hair and red coat, until they remade him in DMC, but let's not talk about that now. The original Devil May Cry series has seen many unlockable costumes over the years. However, not all of them influence gameplay as this one does. Super Dante from Devil May Cry 4 gives you unlimited devil trigger and a full EX gauge. Those are some serious gameplay benefits. On top of that, Dante is constantly glowing because of his superpowers, making him look even more badass. You need to finish the Dante Must Die mode first or buy the Special Edition's Time Saver DLC. Super Dante will allow you to make some sweet infinite combos for sure. I think that looks suits you better. Enslaved is one of those underappreciated action adventure games from the last generation. You play a character called Monkey, who basically has to escort Trip through the majority of the game. If you pre ordered the game at Best Buy in the US or Canada, it would come with a costume for Trip. The sexy robot Trip costume doubles the effects of all stun moves. This includes the EMP blast and melee stun charge attacks. This makes the game obviously a whole lot easier. Unfortunately, this costume is no longer available on consoles. But if you get the premium version from Steam, you can get access to it. Bandai Namco calls it a character enhancement skin. We call it a making the game easier and sexier skin. The Dead Rising series is full of very silly costumes. Anything Goes is basically the slogan of the series. That now consists of four games. Especially Dead Rising 3 includes an amazing unlockable suit. This game lets you dress up as Mega Man X. You need to invest some serious time to achieving this though. For the costume, you need to finish the game in normal mode with an S ranking. You also need to get Ronda instead of killing Gary and you need to finish the overtime end game successfully. You'll look awesome with the suit on, but it's the weapon that actually gives you gameplay enhancements. To get the Buster Gun, you need to beat the game in nightmare mode. And once you have the Buster Gun, you can blow up all those zombies with ease. That's a huge challenge, but the reward sure is worth it. Sorry about that, buddy. I thought you were one of those zombies. The first Bayonetta blew us away, but it wasn't the commercial success Sega was hoping for. Thanks to the partnership between Platinum Games and Nintendo, we got a sequel to Bayonetta on the Wii U. Of course, Nintendo had to make the game its own a little bit. Therefore, Bayonetta 2 was packed with awesome, unluckable costumes like Peach. She could also dress up as Fox McCloud. And who can forget her female Link outfit? Each of the outfits also have their own special effects, which is just awesome. But the best one, in our opinion, has to be her Metroid-inspired outfit. Unlocking this takes some time, as you need 100,000 halos to first unlock Super Mirror 64 2. After that, you'll need another 100,000 to get the outfit. Your efforts are not in vain though, as the new costume comes with amazing game effects that make the already great combat look even more badass. If only every alternate costume would come with so many great visual effects as this one. Do you like costumes that influence gameplay? What's your favorite? And should developers do this more often in games? 
Let us know in the comments, like the video and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos about gaming.